Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online and we are here at Moreland Stables hanging out with our beautiful Rose Stone and getting ready to do all sorts of fantastic adventures today which include some new things going on up at Valdel. So we need to go to Valdel anyway to go talk with Sophie who I believe is a part of the, uh, the mysterious society of druids, the keepers of Aideen that we keep bumping into. So we need to go speak with Sophie anyway but Valdel has received an update today and there's there's even some adorable pigs, some adorable little piggies that apparently we can adopt. So we are going to be headed over there ASAP. <gasps> and Miss Holdsworth has a quest for us. So we're going to be checking out Miss Holdsworth's quest in just a moment. But we're going to start the day with a little bit of racing with yeah, Tan, actually. Which may seem a little bit weird, but one of the big goals that I have is to get Rose Stone up to her max level. And a lot of you guys are desperate to see Melody Warrior again. You really want to see Fire Lord. You want to see Amethyst Mist come out. And I just get so much more done with Rose Stone because she's our fastest horse. So my goal is to upgrade her all the way so she is max level. And then we can start working on our other horses so that they can get faster too and they can level up. And then we'll be able to rotate between any of them a lot quicker. Uh, there we go. Instead of just doing it like on very rare occasions. Because right now Rose Stone is our main girl. Amethyst Mist comes out whenever we are dealing with some of the magic of Aideen. The Keepers of Aideen. And Fire Lord, I think he's going to come out if we ever manage to get our hands our hooves on um uh like sabine if we're ever able to get our, our hooves on sabine again and give her what for for what she has done to josh or justin justin because josh is this one i get josh and josh and justin mixed up because they look almost identical to me but it was not justin who was at the party it was josh who was at the party so i feel a lot better knowing that he didn't just mysteriously magically appear again but it's kind of funny that loretta who's like his girlfriend is not concerned about this at all but anyway oh, really? tan thank you all right, so there goes a huge boost for Rose Stone. And then we're going to do this one really quickly, too. I always feel like I need to apologize when we start doing the races. <laughs> but you guys are always like, no, Siri, no, I love watching you race. So here we go. <laughs> but yeah, so Rose Stone, it, it's just my big goal to get her all the way leveled up. She's just my beautiful horse. And I just want to devote as much time and focus on her as possible. And Melanie Warrior, I don't feel like I'm neglecting because Melanie Warrior, it was old when we started riding Melanie Warrior. So it's more like Melanie Warrior is happily retired and being taken care of. I used some of my star coins to make sure that all of the horses in the stable are being taken care of. So Melanie Warrior is okay. I still want to harvest up that really cool gemstone. Ah, one day we will reach those quests too. And I think Amethyst Mist might be one of the other ones that we work with pretty frequently to try to uh, level up with but all right let's wiggle down this way but amethyst mist by default is slower than a horse and melanie warrior is um melanie warrior is not that fast either but rose stone she's just our fastest horse right now and i really appreciate that when we're tearing across the countryside collecting adorable flowers and delicious berries to share with thistle down all right and let's keep moving Oh, the castle is so beautiful. I wish I could just, you know, maybe do just the tiniest bit of vandalism and knock down that billboard forever. <laughs> it just looks even worse with the giant X through the face. Well, actually, I prefer it with the giant X, like, through the face rather than when the billboard was up there normally. All right, let's wiggle our way this way. Almost done, Rose Stone. I wasn't really focusing on being super duper fast. Yeah, ooh, and your personal best! Rose Stone, congratulations! And we're still like almost 20 seconds. <laughs> we're 20 seconds behind so many other people who have done it. So there we go. All right, well, let's come over to Loretta. Rose Stone is getting closer and closer, as always, to leveling up. And let's go see what Miss Holdsworth wants really quickly. And then we're gonna go, I'm just gonna see if this is something we can do real fast, because I love that little old woman. And then we're going to jump into the trailer and we are going to pop over to Valdel so that we can go see the little pigs. The newly upgraded redesigns they have done over there and the adorable little pigs that you can apparently adopt. <gasps> Miss Holmesworth, how are you doing? Oh my gosh, isn't she just the sweetest little old lady? I wonder if she's going to share some more like sandwiches with us. Oh, Saga, my dear child, I'm so happy to see you. I have a huge problem here in my garden. Say no more. This is what I'm doing now. A problem? 
Miss Holdsworth has it in her garden, no less. I have to participate in this. Also, look at how beautiful it is with all of these blossoms falling. It's so pretty. I can no longer sit and drink my lemonade because I have been invaded by bees. Can you help me get rid of them? Oh, I could totally work on that. So what do I need to do? Are you afraid of bees, Saga? Not at all. They're actually wonderful, vital parts of the ecosystem. And usually they won't sting you. I think they are just as frightened of you as you are of them. I don't want to hurt the little creatures. Only move them away from here so I can continue my peaceful life among the cherry trees. She's so cute. Yeah. I have a wonderful idea for how to solve this, but I need your young, strong arms to be able to do it. Can you help me build a beehive? <gasps> That's so cute, Miss Holdsworth! That will not only take them away from my garden, but I will also get honey for my tea. And there are, it's really funny because I am vegan uh, in real life, but there are ways you can safely, humanely raise bees and also collect some of their honey on the side. So that's really fun. All right, I have already prepared wood for the construction. So maybe you can be an angel and build it for me. Here's a hammer. All right, so, all right, where is the wood? Miss Holdsworth, aha, there it is. All right, and hammer, okay. All right, Thistledown, you wanna help out? Thistledown, you would be so adorable helping me build something. Can you just imagine like the tiny little builder hat on Thistledown? <gasps> Oh no, it's going to be my new weakness, isn't it? Thistledown eating berries is officially one of my weaknesses that we all know about when it comes to uh, like fan art and things like that. And one of my other new weaknesses is, pro oh my gosh, I'm done that quick, is probably going to be Thistledown wearing different outfits. Can you imagine how cute Thistledown would be with so many different little hats? I actually, when I worked at a pet store, used to sell the tiny, tiny dog outfits for like your little miniature dogs. I used to sell those to people for their rabbits and it was amazing. All right, Miss Holdsworth, I have built your bee house. What an amazing job, dear child. Now we have to hope that the bees want to move in. I assume we have to give them one day. I will put some sugar there so they will get curious and hopefully move in. That's so wonderful of you, Miss Holdsworth. All right, so that is everything right over here. I am pleased as punch to have participated in this adorable little this absolutely adorable little side quest. It's so cute. I love Miss Holdsworth and we're taking care of the bees. Life just couldn't be any better. <laughs> couldn't be any better. I didn't even mean to do it. Oh, puns. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the trailer and we're gonna head over to Valdell. All right, easy does it, Rose Stone. Easy does it. There we go. Valdell Village, pay with shillings. I need to earn some more shillings soon. All right, you guys, so let's check out the newly refurbished Valdell. I hardly had time to enjoy the old version before this one's popped up. And oh, there's piggies! Look at the little piggies! Oh, there's Dalmatian and there's a piggoo. Okay, there's little teeny sea piggies. We need to find where the piggies are. There they are! There they are! Look at the prancing pigs! Oh my gosh, it's too cute. So this is Patty Pig. Wow, there is a huge group of people hanging out over there right now. Look at all the beautiful horses. Oh my gosh. Hello, person. I'm trying to get a picture of the pigs, but that's that's good. Hello, Lillian. Hyper Hedgehog's Legacy. That's a really awesome name. All right, let's back up a little bit and stop and then be like, uh, hello, thank you so much. The pigs are so cute. There we go. Oh, there we go. So Patty Pig. Oh my gosh, look at how adorable they are. <laughs> I love them and the waterfall in the background. This is too cute. So they're kind of big though. Like Thistledown is a lot smaller and the pig is a lot bigger than Thistledown. So how is this really going to work out? How many star coins do I have? I only have 300 star coins because I spent so many of them uh, making sure my horses would be taken care of in the stable. Hiya. Oh. Hiya. Hiya! Oh, he's saying hiya! I was like, what on earth is that? That, that loud, loud sound. Where'd everybody go? Whoa. Okay. He just chased all of the people away. Or is everything okay? Everyone's vanished. I'm feeling like the tiny little nitty bitty adorable eyes on these pigs suddenly hold like a much deeper mysterious power. Am I here alone? What just happened? Who knows? All right, well, um, Patty Pig, sir, 
Can I can I speak with you and perhaps adopt a little pigu? Or did the servers just crash? Have I been abandoned in this world? I know I say I don't want to be like chased around too much because I'm so shy, but I didn't mean the I didn't mean it like this, you guys. I didn't mean it like this. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, um, we'll be back to look at the little pigus and he's not selling any new saddlebags. So we'll see how many pigus we can adopt and if I can actually fit them in uh, to the saddlebags. Fun story while we sit here in eerie silence. Fun story. My cousin actually bought a mini pig that was supposed to stay itty bitty super tiny and be one of those cute little guys. And he's now like I think 75 pounds, so he's still a mini pig compared to the domestic pig, but they don't stay very small. They don't stay thistle down size, so, huh. Oh, wait, I can I still? Okay, well, I'm alone in the world, and that's going to be fine. Oh, my. All right, that's fine. Okay, so, oh, you can get angry pig, smart pig, and you can get cool pig. <gasps> They're so teeny. Did you see that? Hang on. If I turn like so... Then you can see what they look like when they're inside. Oh my gosh. And they're really cheap. They're really cheap, actually. I think I can get all of them. Let's start with Angry Pig because he's sassy and spotty and I like him. <gasps> look at his little face. Did you see him looking straight at us? Oh my gosh. Do it again. Do it again, little guy. Look at me. Look at me with your itty bitty little beady eyes that somehow made everybody to like totally disappear. Look at that little head. Oh my gosh. He's so cute. He's so cute. All right, so let's go ahead and buy Angry Pig and pay with Star Coins. And then we'll buy, um, I think, Cool Pig and pay with Star Coins. And then I have just enough left for Smart Pig. Yes. Okay, we have all the pigs now, you guys. <gasps> Look at him. He's so cute. He just, like, yanked himself in. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goody gosh, 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 darn gosh. I just can't even with this little pig. This little teensy tiny adorable pig. Oh, my gosh. He's looking at me. Okay, let's turn. I have no idea where everybody went. Did I, like, hit something? Is that an option where you can just suddenly be, like, invisible and everybody's gone? Did I, did I accidentally, like... Hit a button? I I don't know. Let me know, you guys, because suddenly I'm I'm alone in the world. All right, well, I'll stop obsessing about it, but let's look around, and I guess this gives us a clear view of Valdel. Oh, gosh. Hello, everyone. <laughs> it gives us a clear view of Valdel, and it looks like the bricks... <gasps> look at the thatching! Wow! Oh, have the flowers been upgraded? The gorgeous, gorgeous flowers? There's so many flowers everywhere. They're so pretty. Thistledown. These look like roses, so I don't want you to like hurt your little paws, but I think you could have some fun with these too. I hear people yelling and trotting, and I can't see people, and it's kind of creepy. It's kind of hilarious. I can't see any of you, so if you're watching this now and you're like, why wasn't Siri replying to me? Well, this is why. <gasps> this is so cute. Oh, I wish I could eat at this little cafe. Doesn't it just look adorable? Oh my gosh. All right. Well, let's go ahead now that we have a little pigu. He's pretty cute. I'm going to I'm going to swap him out though. Let's go ahead and we'll carry our little pigs around with us for a while. And you guys may be wondering, why did I spend all of my star coins buying all of the animals? Well, if you remember, that is actually one of my big goals that I have. Oh, hey, I don't need to... Wow, I think the ivy on her house... Look at the moss on the front of her house. Elizabeth, your house is so pretty. Wow. I love it. But if you guys remember, one of my big goals is to actually try to collect as many of the little animals as possible. I think I got as many seals as possible last time. Is it just me or is there even more hay in the upper racks up there? Wow. Yeah, they do a good job with these upgrades. It's very lovely. Um, And then let's see. Sophie. Sophie, Sophie is the person who we're trying to meet with. Oh, it's just so beautiful here, you guys. So let's go see what Sophie wants to see if we can- Oh, there's a cow! It has a little ring on its horn! Is that a GPS tracking device on a cow? Are you a wandering cow? 
I'm really, this is amazing. We found a GPS tracking device stuck onto this cow's horn. Um, Sophie, are you gonna tell me a little bit about that? Cause I'm pretty darn curious now. So let's come talk with her. Hello, Saga. I haven't had that much to do recently. So I went to see my friend Minka in Firgrove. What an amazing race trail they had there. I thought I should try and make something similar back home in Valdel. So now there's a race here too. I think the race trail looks great, but there are a couple things to do before we can have you test it out. First of all, <gasps> There are a couple of rare flowers growing right in the middle of the track. Yes, please. We need you to pick them up, roots and all, so we can plant them back here where they will be safe. It would be horrible if they got trampled when the track starts to get used. Of course it would be, Sophie. Take me to the rare flowers. I, I wish to collect all of them, protect them, cradle them, make sure that the cow with the GPS tracking device doesn't eat them. All right, so found item peace flower. Find item, peace flower, it says. Okay, so I need to plant them back there next to the cow with the GPS tracker. Got it. Man, it's so weird to be all alone in the world. I don't know what I did, but everybody's gone. So there's that. All right, let's come down. Ah, here's one of the rare flowers. <gasps> it's so pretty. Pigs and rare flowers. What a day, you guys. What a day. Oh my gosh. All right, let's gather this up. I'm very happy. So that's one of eight, huh? All right, so where are the rest of them going to be located? I need to kind of, oh, there's another cow. Does it have a GPS on its horn too? It does, it does. There's little cows with GPS on their horns everywhere. That's kind of hilarious. All right, I think this is going to be the direction, maybe trail. Aha, oh, I see, I see. Wow, look at the ferns just growing up over here. That's so lovely. All right, all right. So I think I'm getting the idea of where the track may be. It'll come right along the riverside too. Rosestone, won't that just be wonderful to race along? I think she'd really love that. All right, and then where are the, aha, there's the next flower. There's a little picnic table down here too. All right, hang in there, Rosestone. So we're gonna collect as many of these rare flowers as we can, peace flower. I think that she'd really love racing on this track too. All right, so there's four out of eight of them. There you go, Rosestone. It's kind of like the trail is already down here too. Let's go ahead and I think maybe they'll clear these bushes. And then, um, I think we need to find more of them. Or do I just need to plant them here? Well, let's get started. So we're gonna plant them. Don't eat them, cow, okay? We have a tracker on you, so it's not like you can escape if you if you decide to come and inappropriately eat the beautiful flowers. There we go. Yeah, this is what we needed to do. So now we're gonna move the beautiful rare peace flowers right here. They're so pretty. I'm so proud. Are they gonna stay there forever now and I can just like coo with pride every time I see them? Cause that would be really cool. All right, so we've moved the peace flowers. Sophie? Those look beautiful, Saga. Now they're safe and I have something nice to look at. Thank you. No problem. There is one more thing we need to take care of before we try the track. It is important to look at that it looks as nice around the track as possible, but I saw some litter around the track just yesterday. It's so sad when people don't pick up after themselves. Right out there and bring it to me. I'll put it where it should go when I get back to the barn in Valdell. All right, so we're on this. We need to collect the junk of the woods. So rude people have left litter lying around in the forest and we need to pick our way carefully down the hillside because I should be seeing some of it any second now. Did I go too far? I don't see a sparkly. Rosestone, do you see anything? Any little like Twix wrappers or something? Aha, there's something. So let's get started over here. And I think, oh wow. Yeah, I think this should take us to where we need to go. All right, up you go, Rosestone. This is really going to be one that challenges jumping. <laughs> a little too much, huh? All right, I'm sorry, darling. These are beautiful ferns. I can't wait for this one to be done. And I keep forgetting that I can just use the trailer to like jump between all of the different trails. And that would make it so much easier to just hit track after track after track. Um, hmm. All right, hang on, Roaston. I know, I've gotten us stuck in a hole. It does happen from time to time. I'm sorry, uh, let's see. 
Where's the next patch of litter? Aha, right over here. So next to here. So we've got that litter collected up and then we need to go and find the next little cluster of litter. Which I think is gonna be kind of this direction. Yeah, she's already put down the logs and like done all the heavy lifting. So she's really just having us kind of like do this light, easy detail work. Cause setting up trails, like if you're setting up a hiking trail or things like that, it's really hard. Cause it's a lot of physical labor um, to like cut trees, move trees, make sure that you move heavy logs and put them where they need to be. So I always really admire people who help to clean trails. And it's something that I want to do in the future actually. Maybe I'll bring you guys along with me. And we can look at things like in my vlogs and it'll be like, oh, if Thistledown would love this. Woo, Rowstone. Sorry, Rowstone. It looked closer than it was. There, all right. Wow, this is gonna be a huge trail. This is gonna be awesome. Oh dear, that's a log. Sorry, Rowstone. That's a tree. Sorry, Rowstone. All right. And then let's see if that is all we needed to do to open this trail up and then we'll go ahead and run it. And yes, don't worry, I have not forgotten about South Hook Peninsula, you guys. Just now we're definitely really far away from having enough star coins to adopt one of the ponies. Great saga. I'll throw it out in Valdale Village when I get back. Thank you so much. All right. There we go. Well done, Saga. Are you ready to test out the new riding trail? It's going to be great. I just know it. Good luck. All right. I love those beautiful flowers in the background, too. Oh, boy. All right. Let's see where this is going to take us, you guys. I have a feeling this one's going to be a little bit trickier than not. I don't ever really see people racing down here now that I think about it. All right. Let's save our stamina for those jumps. Don't need to do those fancy jumps. Wink. Need to do that jump though. Oh, and we're racing through the picnic tables. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, and up we go. And over we go. There we go. Good job, Rose Stone. Good job. See, she's getting so much faster. And I think that's the other reason I kind of want to focus on her for a little while. Is because you get... Oh, sorry, Rose Stone. You just get so proud as you watch one of them become so strong and able to do things that were so hard before. And now she is becoming faster and stronger and we're able to take the corners faster. We're able to like win the races better and it's just is a great feeling. So I don't really feel that bad <laughs> as a result for focusing so heavily on Rose Stone. And just hang in there you guys because I do get a lot of comments where it's like, you clearly don't love your horses because you don't ride Melody Warrior anymore. And it's like, well, the thing is we're working really hard to try to level up not Melody Warrior right now. All right, there we go. There we go. I need good jumping on this. I should be wearing maybe the jumping uniform. Roaster, you're doing so good. <laughs> it's just me messing it up. Okay, we're gonna have to do two jumps. So one and then two. Oh, I can't do it. We still managed to trick it into thinking we did it though. Okay, up. Oh. Wow, this one is kind of like hefty. I'm beginning to understand why people aren't always racing over here. Oh my gosh, Rose Stone. Please. Please, Rose Stone. Okay, there we go. I know. Oh, we're running past the cows. We're going to run right past the cows, you guys. That's so cute. Okay. Don't mind me, cow. Oh, you're kidding. This kind of sharp turn. Oh, you're kidding. You're kidding. Rose Stone, help. Rose Stone, no. You guys, I don't know if we're going to make it. Oh, this one's harder than I thought. Oh no, Rose Stone, we're gonna fail. I'm sorry, it's my fault. Oh, okay, let's start it over one last time. Because that's why, because we need to get good. And that's going to involve a lot of practice and quite honestly, just focusing on one horse for a while. All right, so let's try to avoid as many of the jumps as we can right now. That one should be okay though. And then we'll get used to it. All right, there we go. Because the only way you get better at something is by doing it more. <laughs> so just sitting around and trying to wait until her stats are high enough and we have like the best gear. Sure, that's one way you could do things, but that would be a really boring way. All right, so let's come over here. All right, Rose Stone. This is where things get tricky. All right, need to jump a little bit closer to everything, I think. There, and jump. And up we go. All right. See, already I feel like we're taking everything a bit better. 
Which is to be expected since we didn't really know what to expect last time. Oh, she managed to make the double jump that time. I'm so proud. Slow down. Slow down. Still so proud. <laughs> easy, Rosestone. Easy. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, come on, Rosestone. Okay. There we go. There we go. And then go, 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 go. Ah, she just barely, like, can't make that one. I think I need to get better at jumping. So if you have higher jumping skill, then are you able to make jumps faster, like, back to back like that? All right, here's where we got caught up last time. Oop, hang in there, Rosestone, hang in there. We're gonna have to slow down, and then we're gonna have to speed up and jump. There, all right. Wow, this is kind of a brutal trail. Oh my gosh! Alright, please tell me we're almost done. The South Hoof trails are actually a lot easier than this, and I thought they were kind of tricky. Alright, cow! I wonder if you lose points if you, like, jump into a cow. <laughs> I feel like you should. Alright, there we go. Really jump heavy. Oh my gosh! And we're done. Jeez! Look, and you can't even compare it to everybody else's racing either. I have no idea what's happened here. All right, Sophie, you made a really difficult trail, but props to you. Did you like the new race? Great! I hope more people come and try the new trail. Talk to me again if you want to ride it again. Of course, Sophie. We'll do that another time. But that was pretty amazing, and we're getting slowly but surely up there on being able to have Rose Stone go up to another level. So that would be awesome. And I will see you guys next time for more adventures in the beautiful world of Yorvik. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye!